Breaking news today, well, we are investigating some Strathmore paper. We're going to be investigating all of its goings on and everything that it's been up to in what we are calling the paper cases. We have Amy who is live from the scene. Thank you, Studio Amy. Yes, today I am reviewing some Strathmore Bristol Board paper. I have already reviewed a Strathmore paper before, I've reviewed the 300 series. But this time I am reviewing the 500 series, which is a little bit different and it definitely behaved a little bit differently to the 300. I have drawn out a lovely tiger's eye on this 500 series paper and I'm going to talk you through the pros and cons as you watch it on screen. So I initially laid down my graphite outline of this tiger with a Faber-Castell 9006H pencil which probably wasn't the best uh, because this paper is really soft and it's really porous and with this super super sharp pencil that I had it didn't really erase that well when I wanted to erase my pencil mark for adding colour I found that it left a really harsh groove in the paper which I really struggled to get rid of if I probably would have used a softer pencil like a 6B it might have been a different story but if you're wanting to use this paper for illustration purposes and using a really hard pencil then this probably wouldn't be the paper for you because the it's really difficult to erase your lines and you get this really harsh groove. This paper really did take some layers seriously. It took layer upon layer upon layer and I was really impressed with the performance of how, I, how many layers I could actually get onto this paper. Within the eye there I added so so many and it just took it all of the layers really easily and I didn't have an issue with that respect of this paper. When it came to blending on this paper I thought that maybe I'd have an issue that I had with my Fabriano and the Strathmore 300 series that when you layer down some blender of any kind onto this paper it kind of goes transparent on the background but I, I didn't really have that issue with this paper. It took, it absorbed all of that blender and it just blended all of my colours out really nicely. Just did a generally nice job in all areas of drawing on this paper. The only thing that I don't really think appealed to me was when I first got this paper out and I laid some layers down. You can see here when I'm adding these purples and blues and blacks it's got a really toothy finish and it really did take some effort and some time to get rid of that toothy finish without actually having to layer down some blender on top. The orange part underneath the eye is where I didn't actually add any blender and it still came out really toothy and I really wasn't impressed with that. It did take some encouragement and so many layers to get rid of some of that toothiness. So without actually blending your whole piece with a solvent blender, I think you're going to find it difficult to use this paper if you want a super smooth finish like I do. With the work that I do I just require it's super smooth, don't really like any tooth showing and I really struggled with that aspect of this paper. But it was overcome because hel helpfully I had some solvent blender so I was able to blend all the colours out and get rid of some of that toothiness on the paper like that. Comparing the 500 to the 300 and also to my Fabriano paper, all the papers really handle layers exceptionally well so there's not really much difference in the way that this paper be behaves compared to other papers that I have used and trialled. So it's pretty much on par with those papers. I suppose the only thing that I would say stands out is the way that it actually handles the blender and the fact that I can actually get so many layers down on this. But comparing it to other papers is pretty much the same apart from the reasons which I just outlined. You can see on this little um, panning zoom of this eye, you can see where I've had some issues with erasing my graphite lines and them actually still showing through onto the, on the piece. It took everything in me to try and get these lines out of this piece. You can totally see there, it's just so clear, it just 
the groove in the paper is so severe that I just could not get rid of it so I just had to stick with it on there which is a shame but I have learnt from this mistake and I will use a softer pencil on this paper when planning my outlines in future. And as we zoom around you can see on the black areas where I've blended with my solvent blender it's a lot smooth um, because I've blended it and there's no tooth showing through but on that orange patch you can see just there there's a little bit of tooth showing through which is a little bit of shame because I like it super smooth and don't always like a toothy finish like this. But that's my only downside is a toothy finish with this paper, the rest of it is absolutely perfect. So here we have my two Strathmore papers next to one another. On the left there we have the 500 series and on the right we have the 300 series. You can see that the 500 series is a completely different colour to the 300 and it's also got a completely different texture. The texture of the 500 is more toothy, it's a bit more like a watercolour cold press paper whereas the 300 series is a lot more smooth. I prefer the smoothness of the 300 purely because I don't like all of that graininess that you get from adding the layers on the 500. So in this, that respect, I would probably pick the 300 over the 500. I still like the 500, but the grain in this is a major issue for me and the way that I like to work. Might not be the case for everyone, but definitely for me. Here is the outside packaging for this 500 series Bristol board. It's the vellum, which is exactly the same as the 300 series, which I have. And just comparing the two, they are kind of completely different papers. Uh, this 500 definitely has a more toothy finish, whereas the 300 is a lot more smooth. You can make up your own mind as to what kind of finish you want, but me personally, I prefer the smooth finish, smoother finish of the 300 series. So, hopefully this little review has helped you. I don't know whether I prefer the 500 or the 300, they both have pros and cons. I definitely prefer the 300 because it's, it just seems a little bit more smooth than this 500. But both papers performed really well and I'm really pleased with my purchase of this Bristol Board 500. And I will most definitely be using it for future wildlife pieces. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you want to and follow me on all of my social media sites. I will catch you in the next video guys. Bye!